How to approximate square root of 105. Today, I'm going to introduce an efficient way of approximation of square roots to you. For example, we have a number n. And we want to approximate square root of n. n is a natural number. And yes, what now we do is Every number can be written as the sum of a perfect square, for example, a. And in another number, which is less than a squared. So note that a squared is the closest perfect square to n, however, less than n. So b is just n minus a squared. <laughs> That's easy. And now, what we're going to do is, yes, we can square the both sides. Since a squared plus b is just n, and n is a natural number. So we can square the both sides, and we get n equals a squared plus b. n is a squared plus b. So what I'm doing next is to bring the a squared to the left hand side, and we have n minus a squared equals b. Now, what I'm going to do is using a formula. Which formula? That is x squared. Oh my god, I have to change a pen. x squared minus y squared equals the sum of x and y times the difference of x and y. So now, our n minus a squared can just be written as square root of n minus a times square root of n plus a equals b. Very good. Then, what I'm going to do is divide the both sides by square root of n plus a. We get square root of n minus a equals b over square root of n plus a. Look, here we have square root of n minus a is equal to this. So square root of n is a plus b over a plus square root of n. Now, what shall we do next? We just substitute square root of n equal to this for square root of n over here. That means it is just a plus b over our square root of n is equal to this guy. So what can we do next? We can do the substitution again and again. We're going to end up with a very good approximation. That is, square root of n is a plus b over, here we have 2a, then plus b over 2a plus b over 2a plus Blah, blah, blah. So our square root of n can just be written as a continued fraction consisting a and b. So if you want to approximate square root of n, you just take three or four fractional lines, then you're going to end up with a very good approximation. So let's just have a little exercise without this number, 105. Our n is just 105. So if 105 is n, what is a and b? You know that 105 is 100 plus 5. And 100 is indeed the closest perfect square to 105, and which is also less than it. So it is 10 squared plus 5. That means our a is 10. Our b is 5. It is approximately equal to, if you take zero fractional line, then you end up with 10. It is approximately equal to 10, isn't it? Zero fractional line. And if you take one fractional line, you just have a plus b over 2a, which is 10 plus 5 over, I will write it here, 10 plus 5 over 20. 5 over 20 is 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25. So you, so you are going to end up with 
If you are taking two fractional lines, then you will get it's approximately equal to 10 plus 5 over 20 plus 5 over 20. So, yes. And if you're going to take three fractional lines, the approximation will be better, of course. The more fractional lines you will consider, the better the approximation will be. So, here we have 10.25, and over here we have 10 plus 5 over 20.25, and it's approximately equal to 10.2469. Now, press this number on your calculator, square root of 105, and your calculator will gonna tell you it's approximately equal to 10.24695 and so on. So it's approximately equal to 10.247. And you can see we only have to take two fractional lines and and our approximation is really spectacular, really splendid. So, to get it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more wonderful questions and methods and tricks, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!